Hey YouTube and all my subscribers, JC1894 here with a new video for you guys today. Um, I got an update here. I got an unboxing for my 2002 Yamaha Banshee 350. And I thought I'd share it with you guys today. Show you guys what I got. As you can see, it's got the stock stroke and uh, connecting rod length on the box. So that makes it nice. Um, got this crank for a little over, um, I'd say probably about 300 and, um, gee, it was 299 plus three, uh, uh, like $18 after, um, shipping. So it made it probably about like 300 and, uh, Sixteen, three hundred seventeen dollars. So it ain't bad at all. This is a brand new stock size stock uh, stroke crank. Um, it's been rebuilt with heavy duty bearings. It's got the TZ bearings, and uh, it's been trued and welded. It's got the heavy duty. Um, uh, wrist pin bearings for the pistons I mean this thing is just freaking sweet uh... give you guys a quick shot of it here inside the bag I know the bag's being a little difficult uh, showing it to you guys but check that out and it just looks really good all the bearings are tight on there. There's no side to side play. As you can see, everything's tight. Connecting rod bearings, everything's tight, no play. No play there. No play. You can see everything is extremely tight. So, um, also turned and welded. This is what it looks like after it's been uh, done like that. Let me see if I can pull it out of the bag here a little bit. So, you guys. Right there, you can see how it looks after it's turned and welded. It's flush, it's not burred out or nothing. Looks real good. And there's how the outside heavy duty bearings look. Boy, just a freaking good investment for the Banshee. Um, I thought this would be just um, a good investment. I didn't want no pins backing out or nothing. I heard they like doing that at high RPMs. So that's why I went with this. But, um, I'll make some videos after I get my new seals, and I might make some, uh, how to install videos and all that, if you guys would like. But, um, as you see, they spin really nice, really easy, effortless. I like how it's got these polished rings around the crank weights, I guess is what you'd call these. I mean, that's what I heard. Everybody calls them crank weights. But, um, yeah, it just looks really good like that. Look how thick the connecting rods are, uh, where the bearings sit. So I think these are probably either aftermarket, uh, connecting rods with the stock number on it, because my stock crank does not look like that. Um, it's way thinner coming, uh, I'll show you guys here which way it's spinning. Uh, let me uh, move this down here a little bit. It's thinner this way in between the outer edges. It's like really thin right there. So I'm thinking that the crank that's in the Banshee is probably the original one. And these connecting rods on this are probably some kind of aftermarket deal. Uh, to prevent it from uh, uh, twisting 
but you can see these look very nice how they're styled and they're very thick this way from top to bottom but they done an awesome job when they built this crank uh, the other thing I like about it too is compared to my stock crank I uh, looked at these bearings in here and there's a way bigger difference in there so I know it's going to hold up but I'll let you guys uh, go for now don't like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and make sure you watch for my next parts unboxing for this which should be pistons and I'll see you guys later peace